to another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate. My name is Janet and today I welcome Naomi Anderson from Aged Care Ready who's servicing people on the Mornington Peninsula. So welcome Naomi. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. It's great to see you here. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your background Naomi. Um, well I'm in my 30s. I'm not going to tell you exactly how old I am. <laughs> Very young. <laughs> um, I am a registered nurse by trade so mm -hmm. I've done my Bachelor of Nursing and I have been working in the aged care field for nearly 15 years. Have you? Yeah. Yep. Yep. What does that sort of entail? Um, right from personal carer from when mm -hmm. I first started my training mm -hmm. through to um, care manager and covering director of nursing and things okay. like that. So I've done a okay. lot within the aged care space. A wide range of experience yeah. in that area. That's fantastic. So what do you love most about the peninsula? Um, I love the relaxed atmosphere mm. and I love the beach. Yep. So I always love to come down here. I'm not yep. from here, but... Mm -hmm it's well worth the drive absolutely and I love the little cafes and yep. just the the lifestyle, lifestyle really yeah it's absolutely beautiful down here it most is most definitely so you have created uh, this business aged care ready um, how long have you been or how long has aged care business uh, aged care ready been in business aged care ready um, as a company has been in business for nearly two years mm -hmm. we started in our Sydney office yep. with um, the director Anna Porter mm -hmm. Um, and I took over the Victorian role at the start of this year. Okay, fantastic. So in relation to the business, what does Aged Care Ready do? We essentially guide people and their families. So our, mm -hmm. our clients are, are the elderly, yep. um, but it's mainly their families that come to us mm -hmm. um, when they feel that they need a little bit more assistance mm -hmm. in navigating the aged care sector. Um, because it is so diverse mm. and complicated and confusing yes. and having to make those decisions when it's such a highly stressful emotional yes. time of your life yes um, we help guide them through that by holding their yep. hand mm -hmm. so that's everything from organizing aged care assessments mm -hmm. right through okay. to placement into an aged care facility so you would help them sort of work out which is the most appropriate aged care facility for their parent yeah for their yep. individual needs yep okay Fantastic. Yeah. That sounds great. So um, I guess why did why and how did the business evolve and who is your ideal client? Um, I guess from my point of view, I felt that there were a lot of families that were struggling with mm. finding the ideal facilities for their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Often they are given quite a hard sell when they're touring facilities. Yep. Um, so I felt that they needed some guidance and I'd probably say advocacy. Mm -hmm. Someone who has their best interest at heart yep. and not sold by the sales tactics. Yep, yep, that's fair enough. And I guess because um, in our business, real estate, we've obviously dealt with a lot of the older people who are downsizing and, and it is such a maze for them to work out, um, do they go into a retirement village or they, are they actually at the stage where they have to have the aged care instead yeah. and retirement village is not going to work for them because yeah. they don't get the assistance. Um, whereas the aged care, obviously, you know, there are other facilities that are involved, I think nurse on call and, and assistance and that kind of thing. So it's a fine line sometimes between when knowing when a client is ready for just retirement or facilities that help and then knowing is the right facility, is, the, is it the one closest to where they currently live mm -hmm. or is it something that's a little bit further out because it provides a better um, kind of quality service for their needs? Correct. How, how do you sort of work that out? Well, given my experience, I will generally sit down with the client and their mm -hmm. family and have yep. a look at their specific care needs plus yep. their lifestyle and um, yep. financial to, to mm. an aspect um, and have a look at what their individual needs are. Mm -hmm. And it may be that they don't need to go into a facility, but it might be that they need to downsize into a smaller home and yes. have some in-home help. Okay. So, so you can help with yeah, that as well. It's absolutely. not just simply saying you've got to go into care. It's saying, okay, well, you think you need to go into care, but maybe with all the facilities that are available, um, which is what we sort of work with as well, the other facilities available can help you stay in home a little bit longer absolutely. and then move that that later stage yeah. if, if they need to. That's correct. Yep. Okay, that's fantastic. So what sort of things should people look for when they're looking for an aged care facility? 
I always recommend do your research and shop around. Yep. So don't buy into the first facility that you see, mm -hmm. um, no matter what they tell you. Make sure you always go and see at least three facilities. Mm -hmm. Ask them what their fees are. Yes. And that includes their extra services fees yes. because that's usually not discussed until later down the track. Mm -hmm. Um, have a look at the state of the facility, mm -hmm. ask them when their last um, unannounced audit was, when okay. their last accreditation was and what the results were of that. Right. And are they likely to tell you that? They are, yes. Right. Yep. Okay. So they're obligated to let you know? Yes. Great. Okay. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, also taking a look at things like um, the staffing levels for how many mm -hmm. residents there are in the facility, mm -hmm. what the actual residents look like themselves. Yes. So are they have a kept, walk around. Yeah. Yep. Are they well yep. kept? Are they clean? Yep. Do they look comfortable? Do they mm -hmm. look happy? Mm -hmm. Are there visitors? Yep. Do the staff look happy? What okay. does the place smell like? Yep. What does their food look like? Mm -hmm. So okay. it's taking the whole building, yes. the whole facility into yes. account. Okay, that's some really interesting um, points to sort of look at because it's all very easy. I know um, with my dad we went through a few facilities and you walk in and you go, oh wow, this looks amazing. Um, but then you've actually got to walk past that and, and as you say, look at the actual rooms, look at how people are being um, looked after in those rooms, what their meals look like because they can vary quite a bit from facility to facility. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And even some facilities, they don't have their kitchens on site. Oh, that's so good point. Mm. if that's, you know, if food is really important to you, mm then you need to actually see these meals yes. and what they're being fed yes. because that will yep. give you an idea of what their budgets are yep. for looking after their residents as well. Yep. Okay, that's fantastic. So things like that, is that generally included in the fees or is that what you were talking about, extra fees? No, so meals and heating, cooling, mm. staffing, that is all um, part of the standard residential yep. accommodation mm -hmm. fees. Yep. Um, Extra services fees generally cover things like lifestyle and leisure activities mm -hmm. and all the little extra bit, bits and pieces, newspapers, yep. that oh, sort okay. of thing. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. yep, the creature comforts. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. okay. And they, the facilities will give you a, an itemised list of right. what their extra services fees okay. cover. So, right. so it's quite yep. a lot of information to take in. Absolutely. And, uh, and I guess... Uh, I guess to a degree it's not a case of looking at which is the cheapest facility or which is the most expensive or which offers the most services. It still comes back to what's relevant to the individual's needs. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fantastic. So in relation to Aged Care Ready, what services do you currently offer? Well, we um, offer the whole placement service, so end-to-end mm -hmm. -end service, yep. and that's where a um, client may come to us and say, look, I'm ready for aged care, can you help me, where do I start? Yep. So we would then initiate um, some referrals for the aged care assessment team. Mm -hmm. um, we would then do some research on what their individual needs are, so yep. lifestyle and location, mm -hmm. who comes to visit them, who do they like okay. to see, yes. so that we take that locality into um, perspective as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, what their care needs are, mm -hmm. um, what activities they really like to participate in and yep. does those facilities, can they promote that independence? Mm -hmm. um, so we, we do that right through to admission and helping them with their admission paperwork as oh, well. Wow. Okay. Um, we do do um, in-home help coordination as well like mm -hmm. we mentioned before. Yep. So if they're not quite ready to move into aged care but they're downsizing into a smaller home mm -hmm. and they need a little bit of extra assistance, we can help them find the right provider yep. for them. Mm -hmm. um, and we also look into retirement villages as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. That's great. So it's an, an, a one-stop shop. Absolutely. It's yeah. everything and anything you ever wanted to know or ever needed help with um, moving from your home into either retirement or aged care or what have you. It's, it's You can help with everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's great. So how do ac um, people access your services and how do they find you? Sure. Um, you can find us at agedcareready.com.au mm -hmm. and that has our main phone number there. So okay. call our team yep. and we'll be able to guide you from there. Fantastic. So do you actually visit 
people yes. or do they come to you? No, we go out to their homes. Okay. So initially I like to do the one-on-one -on -one visit with the family, with mm -hmm. the client mm -hmm. and get a good understanding of what their environment is. Yes. And yep. we go through a questionnaire yep. just to really understand mm -hmm. who they are and what yep. they like. Okay, that's fantastic. Brilliant. So, um, Naomi, tell us a little bit about what you do when you're not working. Um, I really like to crochet. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crochet, um, well done. What do you make? Blankets mainly. I love yep. to make baby blankets. Oh, gorgeous. Um, I play basketball yep. as well and I have a son so yep. my weekends are generally pretty busy. Pretty busy. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. That's yeah. brilliant. No, that's great. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, it's been very informative. I'm sure if anyone would like to know more about um, what services are available and, and any information about what they could do or, or should do, um, contact Naomi at Aged Care Ready and uh, she'll be able to help you or her team but um, that finishes another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate and thank you very much Naomi. Thank you.